Hello guys, this is the awesome person. It's my Tukus. I am going to do a tutorial today. This is my first video. Bam, my art notebook. Bam, a lollipop. Oh yeah, I'm gonna teach you how to draw that today. Shabangle. First, get some paper. I'm using white paper today. White paper. Woo now, you need some colored pencils and a regular pencil. First, I'm using Prismacolor, a set that doesn't matter. And first, take your pencil, okay, on your white sheet of paper, and draw just an oval in about the third, the um, third, fourth, whatever you want to call it. See, just an uh, oval that you can barely see. And then kind of draw a hump out. And then once you've drawn that, just do this. <laughs> Actually, don't do that. Then draw just a line this way. Okay. Just a line that way. And then make like a little half centimeter line and come back up. Just like this. It's on my tukus. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So once you've done that, take your pencil and darken one side. Just color it very dark. Like that. And in this scenario, we're going to have the light coming in. And from this, from this direction, onto the lollipop. And then slowly fade it out. Now I'm doing a rough, a rough draft, and I'm trying to make it quick. So you can fade it out better than mine, but I'm just saying... I'm just doing it fast. You should do it a lot better. Then, you take a red and draw out the places where you think the light should be hitting. In this case, I chose those places. Then, outline the basic shapes. Not very dark or anything, but just outline the basic shapes. Like that. Now it might not seem all wonderful right now, but you'll you'll see. Then on the bottom half, on the bottom half, like right here, right here, right here. On this side, on this side, the opposite side that the light's coming from, you need to shade in kind of darkly with red. Not that dark, but kind of. And then fade out to the other side. I'm trying to do it as quick as I can. Kind of like that. Because the light's coming from this this direction. So it's going to be hitting it. And one's darker and one's lighter. Now do the same with every layer. So like this. And when you hit your light spots, just don't color them in at all. Just color around them. 
because those are not going to be used right now. You need to show your picture. I am. See, and it's starting to look good. It's not complete yet. And it's so, and then start fading it out on the top layer. Now I'm going to do this kind of fast and it's not going to look as good. But y'all need to take your time and pause this video if you need. Okay, so see how I've done that and faded it off. Okay, so the light's coming from this direction. Now on these, on the light spots, we need to color them pink. Okay, pink. Okay, my pink is broken. So I'm going to use a red orange. Red orange works all, all, okay also. And, okay, so I've colored it. it this one doesn't look too good because I, col I colored the um, outlines too dark. Don't color them too dark. Mm -hmm. I was kind of in a rush. But now, going the opposite direction, take your orange, red, orange, whatever you want, and go the opposite direction you were coloring and just shade over everything. Everything. Okay? So now it looks like that. Now it's not the most detailed in the world, but that is why you take a purple, a blue, or anything, and shade in certain spots that you want to be dark. And then just kind of color over anything. Now that's what the finished lollipop looks like. It's better. Now my best one that I actually took time on is this one. And that's what I expect y'all to look like. Bye-bye!